Hello good people and welcome to Finance Skills Hub here. We learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, we are going to explore a very important feature in Power BI that allows you to create interactive visuals or reports in your Power BI desktop. So here I'm talking about bookmarks. So imagine a situation where in just one page, you are able to display several charts or several images without switching to other pages. It allows you to add on layers to your report. So I'm going to use a very simple example and then hopefully you can get ideas on how to apply this to your Power BI report. So if you're ready, please open your Power BI and let's go through this step by step. Okay, so here is the sample report. This is data from the World Health Organization. The report is on healthy life expectancy. Now, this actually shows the expected life expectancy for people living around these areas in the world. Now, this example highlights a typical use of bookmarks. If I select Africa, you realize that it displays where Africa is on the globe, but I add this extra layer, which is an AI generated image to give my users an insight on which kind of people live around that world. So if I come to Americas, okay, it updates and then it gives you an idea. So if I come to Europe, right? So the basic idea is that this is not your regular slicer, but these are bookmark buttons. Okay, so we are going to use it to be able to add this extra layer where it filters the map that we are using and also shows the picture of the area that we have selected. So I'm going to take this from scratch so that you learn the concept and then you can apply it to your own report. Now I'm going to switch to the start workbook. So basically what I want to achieve is to place those images in this bottom right part of the report. Right. So I'm going to bring the images in. Now there are two icons that we need to pay attention to. So the first one is a selection icon, which is normally located here to the far right. And then the bookmark icon, which is also here, right? If these two are not present, you can go to view, okay? And then activate them from the side. So now let's bring in our images. I'll come to insert, okay? And then bring in my first. So here are my images, right? So I select Africa. Now, when Africa comes in, I'm going to place this here. Right, so this is the space that is going to be showing all the images. What we want to achieve is we want to place all the images in the same shape, but we'll have to name the images so that we know what to display at which point. So once the image comes in, we'll come to the selection here. It lists all the objects or elements in your report. Right. So this is the image that I brought in. I'm going to double click on this and call this Africa. So I'm basically going to repeat for the rest of the five continents. So I'll bring in the next image. Okay, this is Americas. So as I mentioned, it would be good to lay it in the same position. It shouldn't be a problem. I'll explain how this works later. So I'll just put in this one that is for Americas. Then repeat for Eastern Mediterranean. So this one also comes in for Eastern Mediterranean. So, okay, so I've actually brought in all the six images representing each region. So you can see Western Pacific is here, Southeast Asia, Europe, Eastern Med, Americas, and Africa, right? So these are now going to be linked to the selection that I have here. Now think of the bookmarks as a snapshot. Right, so it takes a shot of how the report is currently displayed, saves this in memory, then you can trigger or call it with a button. So basically that's how it works. So for this purpose, if I select Africa, this is the display I get in Africa. I want this map to show, and then I want this image to show. Now, another thing that we want to also show is that instead of showing the original slicer, we are going to hide it and then replace it with the bookmark buttons, right? Which we'll add later. So knowing this, let's now go ahead and then create our bookmark first for Africa. 
So when I select Africa, right, these are the elements in my report. So I want all the others hidden. So I'm going to hide this icon hides. So Western Pacific, South Asia, Europe, Eastern Red, Americas, right? Africa should show. Okay. And then I also want the slicer to also go away. Right. So basically what I want is just this. Now that I have created this display for Africa, right? I will now come to my bookmarks, okay, and then add this bookmark. Right. So this is my bookmark one. I'm going to double click this and then name this Africa. I have now achieved the bookmark for Africa. I'll come back to my selection pane and then do the next one for the next continent. But first I have to show my slicer. So when I show my slicer, the next one is Americas, right? So this is how America is displayed. So for Americas, the slicer is going to go off, okay? But the Americas image is going to show, and then I'll turn off for Africa, right? So again, I'll go to my bookmarks and then add this for the Americas, right? So you would have to pay close attention to the images that you want to show, select them and display them accordingly. Let's do the third one. So I'll come here and I'll bring back my slicer, right? Then select Eastern Mediterranean. Okay, so this is the part that shows. Now for this, I'm going to turn off the Americas and then display the Eastern Mediterranean, right? Then I'll hide my slicer for this display as well. Then I'll come here, okay? And then add for the Eastern Mediterranean, right? So Eastern Med. Okay, so I'm basically going to repeat the process for the next three. So these are now my six bookmarks. Okay, so this is for Africa. You can see it's working. This is for the Americas. This is for the Eastern Med. Then we have Europe here. We have Southeast Asia. Okay, and then we have the Western Pacific, right? Now, what we want to do is that instead of navigating with the slicer, which is hidden, but it is still important because we needed to be able to filter our visuals, right? So we choose to hide it instead of deleting it. So what I'm going to do is to insert, right, a navigation button. So this is a new feature. So if I come to the buttons under insert, I come to navigator, and then you see that I have something called the bookmark navigator here. Okay, so when I do that, it now gives me all the tabs representing the six bookmarks that I did. Right, we have the option to format this, so I'll come to my format visual, go to more options. Okay, now we can work on the shape, the style, the grid layout. So, first, let's do the grid layout. So, instead of horizontal, we are going to make it vertical. Okay, so I'll just position this here and then open this up. Okay, so this is for my vertical display. Right, I can change the shape so instead of the rectangle. I can make it rounded rectangles, okay, and then I can also work on the border lines, okay. So for the border lines, I want it to be a gray color, okay. So this is my gray color, right. So this is my display, right. So now if I come here and I choose Africa, my globe responds to Africa. This is the Americas, this is Eastern Med, okay, this is Europe. Okay, for each of these, you realize that the filters for the rest of the reports or the visuals are also responding, right? Now, truth is that there are ways to display images using custom visuals like simple image and all those things. But that alternative always requires the internet, right? So this bookmark option works offline. Okay, so as long as you are able to link the right filters to the right images, you should be able to get it working offline. Right. Aside this, there are several ways you can apply bookmarks to show different parts of your visuals, okay? To even use it as table of contents and you also have the ability to even use it to clear or reset all filters so that you have your generic display. But if you are new to this, I hope this gave you an idea on how you can use bookmarks to show interactive visuals in your report. I'll share the practice files with you so that you can also go through this step by step. Thank you so much for joining us. Please practice and add it to your Power BI tricks. See you in the next video. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad 
to this WhatsApp number will add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.